What's up, everybody? Welcome to the JU Nation Fishing Channel. Today is Friday, March 27, 2020. I'm hoping and praying that you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys are praying for me too. Can you go fishing during the shelter in place order? My friend Fishing247 did a great job in researching the subject matter. Please go visit his channel and check it out. That's again, Fishing247. For me, tonight, I'm doing a John Ken Cook show. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Peace out. everybody tonight I'm going to show you how we cook in our home beer batter sturgeon been very blessed this year if you've been following my channel you know that I caught a big old 55 inch sturgeon divvy them all up give all the steaks away kept two steaks for myself tonight I'm cooking the last steak so I'm gonna go to the process of how we cook it as far as cleaning it there's a lot of websites out there that show you how to clean it. It's a bit complicated, so I'm not going to get into how you clean it. So what I'm going to show you is a steak that we already cleaned up, getting ready to get into our routine and cook it, and then we're going to eat it. All right, this is what we're going to do. All right, guys, this is the last steak from that big 55-inch sturgeon. Once again, I kept two of these steaks for myself, gave the rest away. This is my last steak right here. All right, brothers, for the ingredients. Once again, beer batter sturgeon. You're gonna need one cup of all-purpose flour. You're gonna need one egg beaten one teaspoon of garlic powder and half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. You're gonna need one and one half cup of beer. I guess any beer would do. I'm gonna go with Bud Light for tonight. Let's get to it then, huh? So here we got one cup of all-purpose flour one egg beaten. Here I got one teaspoon of garlic powder mixed with one half teaspoon of ground black pepper. It turns out that this one can of beer is actually one cup. So this is probably eight ounce. So one and a half can of this beer will make that one and a half cup of beer. First thing we're going to do is we're going to mix in a small mixing bowl. We're going to add the flour. All right. And then we're going to put in some eggs. Put in the garlic powder, the pepper. Throw in one cup of beer and then you add more until you de you want to get the desired texture that you want. So this one cup I'm going to start out with first. Now I'm going to mix it up. So what we do right now is we're just going to mix up those ingredients. I started out with one cup of beer. Not sure if that's the consistency that I want, but um, if it's not the consistency that I want, I'll add a little bit more beer in there, okay? Okay, the amazing thing about this sturgeon, 
is that it has no bones, fellas. Just that cartilage in the middle right there that you can eat. But, um, you know, you clean it all up. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut them into chunks. We get rid of any bloody parts, you know. Just keep only with the meat. You notice the texture of the meat looks very beautiful, like pork. I say we could have something like a two by two inch square, maybe. Just junk size. size we rinse them out again okay fellas uh, next up we're gonna put some oil you put whatever favorite oil that you like into a fry daddy get that thing to get that thing heat up really really well okay so we got oil in the fry daddy heating up right now okay this is what the sturgeon chunks look like when we cut them up and now we're gonna mix it with the batter but together we are go feel that soul run the dance floor make the world go round again oh, oh, yeah, it's it's right. hot right here waiting for us to put those chunks in here this is a really really simple recipe guys but it tastes really really good okay guys just put those chunks in here put as many as you can in and get a nice mixing the sturgeon with the batter that we created at the beginning really super easy recipe guys but it tastes so good until it gets golden brown. But it cooks really fast, about a minute or so, you're gonna get this golden brown kind of look and it's ready to be taken out. Golden brown look, ready to be taken out. See, I told you guys, it's gonna be simple. Look at this golden brown color, guys. Look at these fellas. So that one steak gave us 15 beautiful golden brown chunks of sturgeon. The way I describe it, it looks more like chicken nuggets. That's what it does, it looks like chicken nuggets. Look at the texture of the sturgeon. It's like a white chicken meat or like pork so what's up fellas a cooking show is not good unless we have a taste test right so I'm about to taste test the results right here this delicious piece of beer batter sturgeon look just like a chicken nugget so I'm gonna taste it right now hmm man hmm tastes delicious guys should try it out. First, gotta catch a sturgeon first, though, right? So, fellas, I hope you enjoyed that simple recipe that uh, we used today. At least in my home, we really, really enjoy that. Tastes real good. Uh, it's really simple to make. At least for sturgeon, it's really, really tasty. Until the next time, 
Peace out, brothers.